If you are not confident with multiplying complex numbers, feel free to watch my previous video. Complex conjugates are used to divide complex numbers. So we have to understand first how to find the complex conjugate of a complex number before dividing complex numbers. Let's start with the question, what is the complex conjugate of 2 plus 3i? The complex conjugate of 2 plus 3i is 2 minus 3i. What is the complex conjugate of 4 plus 5i? The complex conjugate of 4 plus 5i is 4 minus 5i. What is the complex conjugate of negative 2 minus 5i? The complex conjugate of negative 2 minus 5i is negative 2 plus 5i. And what is the complex conjugate of 3 minus 2i? The complex conjugate of 3 minus 2i is 3 plus 2i. Do you see the pattern here? We find the complex conjugate of a complex number by changing the sign of the imaginary part of the original complex number. So a positive sign becomes a negative sign and a negative sign becomes a positive sign. But be careful, don't change the sign of the real number part. Just flip the sign of the imaginary part. In the next step I'll show you that when we multiply 2 plus 3i by its conjugate 2 minus 3i, the result will become a real number. With the FOIL method, we get 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times negative 3i is negative 6i, 3i times 2 is 6i, and 3i times negative 3i is positive 9. negative 6i and positive 6i cancel each other out and 4 plus 9 is 13 which is a real number. I can tell you that every complex number multiplied by its complex conjugate results in a real number. If you have a product like this where the first terms are the same and where the second terms are the same but with an opposite sign, then you can use a shortcut. This is a good example here to show you why I highly recommended memorizing the formula a plus b times a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. In my video, the three most important binomial formulas. This formula is exactly the same pattern which we have here when multiplying a complex number by its conjugate. The result is always the squared first term minus the square of the second term. So. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 3i squared is negative 9. Be careful and don't forget the negative sign here. 4 minus negative 9 is 4 plus 9. Which is 13. 
And that's exactly the same which we get when using the foil method. Let's try the next example. The formula says square the first term, which is 16, and square the second term, which is negative 25. And put a negative sign in between. So 16 minus negative 25 is 41. And we are done with this problem. In the next example, we square the negative 2, which is 4, and we square the negative 5i, which is then negative 25. And with the negative sign between these two numbers, we get 4 minus negative 25, which is then 29. By the way, we see in the last two examples that 5i and negative 5i, when squared, gives us the same result, negative 25. Let's look at the last example. 3 squared is 9. Negative 2i squared is negative 4. And 9 minus negative 4 is 13. With these examples, we learned what a complex conjugate is. We also learned that when multiplying a complex number by its conjugate, the result will be a real number. Now we are ready to divide complex numbers. Let's say we want to divide 7 plus 3i by 2 plus 5i. The best way to divide complex numbers is to write them as a fraction and to make a real number out of the denominator. Making a real number is exactly what we did when we multiplied complex numbers with their conjugates. So let's multiply 2 plus 5i by its conjugate 2 minus 5i. To get a real number in the denominator of our fraction. Don't forget to also multiply the top of the fraction by 2 minus 5i. To get an equivalent fraction. Let's look at the bottom of the fraction first and do exactly the same thing we did before when we multiply the complex number by its conjugate. We square the 2 which is 4, and we square the 5i, which is negative 25. And 4 minus negative 25 is 29. What about the top of the fraction? Unfortunately, we have to use the FOIL method here and can't use the shortcut. The reason for that is that the second complex number is not the conjugate of the first complex number. Feel free to pause the video and try this yourself. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times negative 5i is negative 35i. 3i times 2 
is 6i and 3i times negative 5i is 15. The real parts are 14 and 15, which is 29. And the imaginary parts are negative 35 and 6, which is negative 29i in total. So we get 29 minus 29i over 29. The fraction rule says that we can split up a fraction like this to 29 over 29 minus 29i over 29. 29 over 29 is 1 and 29i over 29 is i. We can also say after cancelling out the 29 we get 1 and after cancelling out the other 29 we get i. So 7 plus 3i divided by 2 plus 5i is 1 minus i. And we did our first division with complex numbers. How cool is that? Notice that we express the solution in standard form. Let's do one last example for the sake of practice. Negative 2 plus 5i divided by 6 minus 3i. Feel free to pause the video and try this yourself. First we multiply with the complex conjugate of 6 minus 3i on the top and at the bottom. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Negative 2 times 3i is negative 6i. 5i times 6 is 30i. And 5i times 3i is 15i squared, which is negative 15. And at the bottom we have 6 squared, which is 36 and negative 3i squared, which is 9i squared, which is negative 9. Negative 12 minus 15 is negative 27, and 30i minus 6i is 24i. 36 minus negative 9 is 45. We can split the fraction to negative 27 over 45 plus 24i over 45. 27 divided by 9 is 3 and 45 divided by 9 is 5. 24 divided by 3 is 8 and 45 divided by 3 is 15. So we get negative 3 over 5 plus 8 over 15i. And we are done with this problem. Notice that we express the solution in standard form. I want you to do the next example on your own and write the answer in the comments. Negative 1 minus i divided by negative 2 minus i. In the next video we are going to talk about the roots of negative numbers. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.